So, I, yeah, yeah, right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. module for that there of course there is are we recording we are recording we're here today at aqua headquarters in burlington massachusetts just outside of boston i am with an old drupal friend of mine um there are so many right yeah mike myers mike tell us uh one thing about yourself Hey everybody, Mike Myers, uh, longtime Drupaler, been in the community for a little over a decade now, and I'm based out of New York City. Right, and at Acquia, you you are the vice president in charge of the large-scale Drupal program. Correct. Right. Which we finally call LSD. Yes. Mike pushes LSD on enterprise businesses. Mike, what's your first Drupal memory? Wow. Wow. My first Drupal memory. It's been a long 10 years, Jan. Uh, my first Drupal memory is probably uh, meeting Robert Douglas. First person I ever worked with in the Drupal community. I hired him to help me build out the early prototype for Now Public, which was the first venture backed Drupal startup company. So, I happen to know, correct me if I'm wrong, Robert Douglas wrote the first Drupal code for now public, mm -hmm. the first venture backed Drupal startup company, which eventually got, became part of examiner.com, yep. mm -hmm. right? Wow. Uh, we, you know, we, we started at an amazing time in the Drupal community. Uh, we were one of the first big uh, commercial usages of Drupal. Prior to that, it was successes like Dean Space, uh, a lot of uh, NGOs and non-for-profits. Uh, and so we were able to come into the community and had an opportunity to work with a lot of the top developers in the platform. What version of Drupal was it that you first encountered? We had a long history of being at the forefront of releases of Drupal. So we launched Now Public on a pre-release version of Drupal 4, or Drupal 4.5 rather. Wow. Yeah. Not only is that really, really old school, but um, that tradition continued in the group, right? Examiner.com relaunched on Drupal 7 pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-alpha mm -hmm. on a uh, pre-release version of the database abstraction layer because it was probably the first huge Drupal site that used um, MongoDB, yep. uh, so no SQL database, right? Yep. Uh, Examiner.com was the first Drupal 7 website to launch. We started development a year and a half before uh, the beta release. We were the first, yes, yeah, so the first top 100 website to use Drupal, first Drupal website on uh, Drupal 7, uh, first MongoDB integration, so you know, but we felt that we could make these advances in the platform because we had access to so many of these amazing, you know, developers behind the community. Uh, so it didn't feel like uh, an insane risk. You know, it felt like a comfortable risk that we could drive this innovation in the community. Uh, right, and that's a real difference um, with a platform uh, like Drupal. Not only is it open source with all of the advantages that open source gives you, but it's been operating at a scale for long enough that. Uh, real businesses, real enterprises, there are real user cases that have already been developed for, you have access to incredible knowledge sharing across organizations who might compete on other fronts, right? Exactly. Uh, you know, it's an opportunity to work together with organizations to solve common problems and challenges. And, um, you know, it enables you to take a platform that meets, say, 80% of your needs and close that 20% gap. Um, and that gives you tremendous room for innovation while providing you know, amazing cost savings and uh, more importantly, expediting your time to market. You know, I think one of the big successes for Now Public and Examiner was the speed at which we were able to innovate because of the power of Drupal. You know? Now this is actually a great segue into what you're doing now mm -hmm. with large-scale Drupal. Can you talk a little bit about how uh, large-scale Drupal started as a startup within Acquia and what your mission is and, and how that's going? Sure. So uh, we run it as a, sort of an independent group within the office of the CTO. Uh, I report directly to Dries, the founder of Acquia and the uh, project lead of Drupal. Uh, the goal behind LSD is to create a strategic alliance 
right? What we want to do is we want to help all of these amazing organizations that have adopted and leveraged the platform uh, understand the economic benefits of working together. So by working together, we can drive down costs. Uh, many of these organizations are trying to solve the same challenges and problems. Um, and strategic alliances are a common way within the business world to solve competitive problems. You know, uh, we can help you be much more successful with your technology. You know, our idea is learn from our successes, learn from our mistakes. Let me help you get up and running that much faster. You know, it doesn't matter how great your tools are if you can't execute with them, if you can't implement, run a team, structure an organization, figure out how you're going to do, you know, code reviews. Um, you're not going to get code out the door very quickly. Um, and so we can really help each other understand what are these catalysts for success, you know, what are the pitfalls to avoid. Uh, and so the whole, the whole idea behind LSD is to uh, get organizations working together to help each other be more successful, to drive down costs, and to create better software. And the real differentiator here is open source. And I believe your mission in a nutshell is to take organizations who, who, who derive great advantage from having the access to software that has a license fee of zero, mm -hmm. right? And using that and its flexibility, right? But then because there's a tradition of sharing and transparency within mm -hmm. open source, um, bringing them to the point of going beyond just um, accepting whatever is given to them yeah. to creating their own tool set, m solving their unique problems mm -hmm. as large organizations oh. together, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. If you've got five developers, you've got 50 developers on your mm -hmm. team, that's great, you can get a long way. But what if you work with the 20,000 developers exactly. who are building Drupal every day? The more that you plug your organization into the open source communities and the technologies that you rely on, the more success that you're going to see across the board, whether it's attracting and retaining resources, right? Because you think about all the top developers out there, they want to work for organizations that are innovating. Right, that are on the forefront of generating the next set of best practices. And you know, the way that they get to do that is by developing the next generation of Drupal. Yes. Today's developers have also grown up in a culture of open source, yeah. and a lot of them have a problem being hired somewhere uh, where they're not going to be allowed to share back what they're doing, where they're not going to be able to share the latest innovations and iterate on the work of their peers and work together. As individuals, we want to learn and grow. We want to advance our careers. And the way that we do that is by you know participating in these communities and working together, learning from each other. Um, and so individuals want to work for organizations where they can advance, where they're going to be excited about you know these things. And so organizations that you know uh, integrate themselves in these communities uh, not only are going to operate better, but they're going to attract, you know, uh, more talented and, uh, you know, I think engaged employees. How do you feel about the word co-opetition? Co-opetition. Uh, well, as a strategic alliance, you know, we see it all the time. You know, we have uh, really strong concentrations in a large number of verticals. We have, you know, over half a dozen major media entertainment companies around the world. Uh, and oftentimes, organizations join the program because they want to Get that now you can sit down with your peers in your industry and you can start talking about well how are you sharing you know how are you solving these problems you know yeah, let's maybe we can tackle these together and right it's so much more strategic and advantageous for them and you don't have to frankly waste money competing on IT when you're not an IT organization you can compete as sports marketing organizations exactly. And build a common platform of best practices for sports marketing, yeah. for music marketing, for life sciences, whatever your these gig is. These organizations want to compete on their core business value. If I'm a media entertainment company, they understand that they're creating valuable and exciting content. They're not creating video players and slideshows. You know, uh, their technology is a cost center that enables them to deliver their business value. And every dollar they can save on their technology platform is a dollar they can spend on their content. And that's what differentiates them as a company. And so uh, the organizations really are, I think, excited about the opportunity to work with their peers. Uh, it seems counterintuitive, I think, to a lot of people, but, uh, you know, uh, we've had you know tremendous growth as a result of organizations wanting to come in and work together with each other uh, because they see that benefit. Let's summarize a few of these immediate and proven advantages of really participating 
in open source and in the Drupal project and how um, people can get their organizations in on this now. Yeah, great. Uh, so. You know, there, there are tremendous benefits for getting engaged in and participating in open source communities. Uh, the top benefits are things like uh, attracting and retaining great talent. You know, it doesn't matter how well known your brand is, you know, you need to get engaged in these technology communities and you need to be known as a technology brand, as someone who's doing innovative and interesting things. Uh, and that's going to help you attract and retain top talent. Uh, it's going to drive cost savings, right? By working together with other organizations on common needs and challenges, you'll be able to drive down the costs of building software. And more importantly than cost savings, you're going to get better software, right? Through the input of many minds, through the collaboration process by working together. Uh, you know, it's proven that we are building a higher quality software. Um, and, you know, there's uh, tremendous innovation here, right? You're going to move faster. Um, organizations, you know, uh, it's not just the upfront build, it's the long-term maintenance and support. And by creating communities around this, we can share that, right? And so now you have more resources that you can dedicate to your unique needs and interests and scale as a company. So it's just, a, it's a much more efficient and effective way to work. It really drives innovation, drops costs, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it creates an exciting work environment. As far as opportunities to get engaged, uh, you know, Drupal, uh, is an amazing community and all year round there are activities around the world every month in every major city uh, there are key activities you know that you as a company should be aware of first of all the major Drupal cons right we've got Drupal con Amsterdam coming up uh, in September and uh, you know unprecedented opportunity for you to send uh, developers to work alongside uh, some of the world leading experts in Drupal uh, we have uh, code sprints for nine it days starts on that Sunday uh, before DrupalCon it goes Sunday Monday uh, through DrupalCon into the next Saturday, Sunday. Um, right, and, and code sprints are this tradition that we have. Um, I discovered this is actually mm -hmm. somewhat of a Drupalism. Mm -hmm. um, it's an open forum where people come together and uh, there are mentors, there are people who are guiding the process to say, these are the important problems we have, these are the innovations we're working on together, and anyone can come and say, I will be working on Yep. whatever innovation and they attract people mm -hmm. to sit down and work together on that for an hour for a day for a week yep. and major 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 batches of code are produced in this mm -hmm. time but possibly even more importantly relationships are built interpersonal relationships between developers yep. that then facilitate the power of remote global uh, collaboration right there are yep. 20,000 25,000 developers working on Drupal at any given time, and the power of these relationships um, turns their own individual codings, because like multiplies it mm -hmm. by a factor of... So there, there's no substitute for meeting someone in person. It, it is foundational for a relationship, and um, this is an amazing opportunity for you to come in, work side by side with the leading people in the community. You can go to the DrupalCon Amsterdam website, it'll point you to the code sprints, and you can see uh, what are the different groups that you can sign up for, and propose your own group. You know, if you always wish that Drupal had a feature, uh, if you need a bug that you really want to fix and you need help getting it into the platform, and this is your opportunity to come in and work alongside these amazing people and and make your your dreams and your needs happen. Right, make a mark, have an influence, make the project better. Exactly. I think a lot of people come to these events for the first time and they're blown away by the size of the community, the sheer number of people, and it's awe inspiring to come to. Uh, you know, one of these sprints, you know, on the Friday after DrupalCon uh, is is the major sprint day for the larger community where we really try and get a lot of new people involved. Uh, I remember after Austin, uh, DrupalCon Austin, I went over to the sprints and you're, you're talking about hundreds of people in rooms coding. Yeah. Uh, room after room after room of hundreds of people. Uh, it's truly awe-inspiring and, and as an individual, you know, it, it's an amazing opportunity to build out your skill set you know, to meet some people, have a little bit of fun. Uh, I learn so much every time, you know, that helps me uh, be more effective in my job and solving the problems that I need to. Absolutely. Uh, because, you know, uh, invariably you're going to come across solutions that you may not immediately need today. You're going to meet people that are doing really interesting things that you'll be able to leverage down the line. So I highly recommend that folks come to uh, one of these either larger global events or, you know, one of the bigger more regional events. Hopefully we've been able to establish mm -hmm. that beyond just using the software that you get at very low cost, yeah. participating in it, taking an active hand in mm -hmm. its creation and improvement empowers you as a business in a multitude of ways. Mm -hmm. And 
we're hoping that you're excited about this opportunity yeah. and we invite you to come sprint with us. There are in a year uh, dozens of opportunities yeah. to participate. There are two or three Drupal cons a year. There are large regional events throughout the world at this point. A great resource for finding these opportunities is DrupiCal. Yeah. I will link to this. Mm -hmm. DrupiCal gives you a calendar of locations and events um, by event type and uh, it's a great resource for finding out what the Drupal community is up to in the next few months mm -hmm. at any given time. Yep. Mike, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for, for your me. time. Um, so the call out here is you can be getting so much more out of your software yeah. if you are come and be a part of the Drupal project. Exactly. We're a very welcoming and opening community. We want to see organizations have great success with our platform. We care greatly about the software that we create, and we want to help you and work with you to make it better. So please show up, uh, and let's make better software.